The thing I love about Queen's Wharf the most is the sheer scale and how it really puts Australia on the global stage. It's that iconic postcard moment, you know, when you've got the Sydney Opera House in Sydney and you've got Fed Square in Melbourne. This will be Brisbane's moment and the fact that you can live there, people really want to be a part of that. The community is, is embracing what we're building and the anticipation is building. We've got nine tower cranes at the moment on site and at night it's an amazing view. It's really already added to the skyline with the, the illuminated jib so people can see it coming. Yeah, the anticipation behind Queen's Wharf has been huge. We've been working on it since 2013. People I talk to have actually been waiting to buy into this because they understand the uniqueness and the opportunity. Queen's Wharf was put out by the Queensland Government to establish a global tourism hub. They didn't just want a casino, they wanted a real contribution to the city of Brisbane. That's how it all started. We work on some of the largest master plan precincts in Australia's largest cities. Something we're passionate about and we do very well. We launched into Queensland back in 2016 with the Star Gold Coast. Same joint venture partners actually as Queen's Wharf, so the Star Entertainment Group and Shout Hat Book. We sold over 300 in three months. It was really well received and it really gave us a great excitement for how big Queen's Wharf could be. Brisbane is like a mini Manhattan, so with the completion of Queen's Wharf, the city will be framed on all four sides. It will have the Queen Street Mall, it will have Riverside to the east, Botanic Gardens to the south, and then to the west side, it will have Queen's Wharf. So you have this beautiful concentrated isthmus of land. It's, it's like a small island, like Manhattan. It'll be a very vibrant city into the future. The eyes of the world have turned to Brisbane. We are hosting the 2032 Olympics and Queen's Wharf is going to feature as that iconic symbol as people look to us to investigate what is here. When it opens in 2023, it's like nothing Brisbane will have ever seen before. When Queen's Wharf opens and is operational, everything will be at your doorstep. You will be living in the beating heart, in the centre of Brisbane. Why wouldn't you want to live there? It has everything, you know, a casino, 50 restaurants and bars, four to five international hotels, brand new, and 12 football fields of urban renewal along the Brisbane River. Further to that, there is Queen's Plaza, which sits underneath the IRD along Queen's Wharf Road. Queen's Wharf is about drawing people from the city grid down to the river and that'll be the key point and that's where people will meet that's where we'll have live music breweries markets on weekend and that's where you'll want to be not to mention the views which will be spectacular queen's wharf has a very powerful historical significance to the to the birthplace of brisbane so what used to be a gateway and entry portal to the to the colony now has the potential of becoming a gateway to the future of brisbane